Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get games on this phone here. The Samsung S5600, Preston, Star, etc. Anything to do with the S5600 and S5603. And the Taco, I think it'll work with the Taco as well, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it might work. So I have the, the links in the description. One is to mobile9.com where you can download free games. And the second link is for TK, TK File Explorer. Now, if you have this phone or the Taco, you must have gotten the Samsung PC Studio. You absolutely must have gotten that with it. Otherwise, this will not work. You have to have Samsung PC Studio installed on your PC. If I can find a download link for it, I will try to put it up in the description. It might not be, like, when it's uploaded. It might be a couple of weeks after. As you can see here, I put my own games on it. So let me just show you here. Now, I put the Crazy Penguin Party. Is this Catapult 2? Yep. I put that on too. Those two there. And uh, I also put on Kingdom Hearts. The Sonic Kirby, Sonic 2 Dash, Bomberman. Uh, reloaded, Bomberman 3D, Spycam Mobile, SMOB, Mobile Jokes 3, Super Blockbuster. Um, I also put on. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. That was about it. But I have a big long list of games thanks to this, and I swear on my life this will work. But if you have any problems or anything like that, I swear I will help you, and I'll I'm doing this by step by step. Okay, and also you're going to need Jad Maker. So yeah, obviously you're going to need that. See, I already have it. I might I'll going to I'm going to definitely put it up in the description. It's this. You must have WinRare to open this file though. That's the only thing. Um there it is there. Description it's dot jar which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna go down. What should I search for? Let's see now. Mm. Oh yeah, and just to tell you, not all the games work. There's only like ten games that don't work. And uh, Kingdom Hearts is one of it. They don't work. Look, it doesn't work for this phone. There it is, Kingdom Hearts. And look at this. If you get that error, it won't work at all. Maybe it might. Maybe you can look on YouTube to fix it. But anyway, <coughs> yeah. Okay, so you download a game. I'm just, I, I don't know what to download. I'll just pause the video and go back to you when I have chosen a game. Okay, so when you've chosen a file, a game, anything like that, I've just chosen a music player because I just randomly did anything. For you. So, um, I, I don't want it. I just don't really care. Sorry. Anyway. Anyway, okay. So. Oh, God. Okay. So, go down here. And under the box, it should have the description. Now, it might not be like this because I've heard they're updating their um, website. I think it should still have the file types. So file type and make sure it's jar. It doesn't have to have the dot, just make sure it's jar. Now I am I'm a member, obviously. You don't have to be a member. Nah. You don't have to be. Um if you're a member, you don't have to wait 10 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds. With um, non-member, I think it's, I think it's 10 seconds. But yeah, members only have to wait two seconds, like for the page to load and everything. So when it's open, 
drag the file to your desktop. And as you can see, there it is here. Right there. Just there in the middle. So when it's up in the middle, I'm going to drag it out here. What the? F okay, um, I'm going to rename it to Android Music Player. And that's what it is. Oop, I knew something was wrong there. Okay, wait one second. Now, once that's there, you're going to open JadMaker. You're going to drag that file into it, into the JadMaker, and within three seconds, it should be in a blank space on your desktop. Here. It'll be a file that's just white. Like, there's the dot .jar. Dot .jar. Dot .jad. I'll show you now. See. Now, you'll still have the dot .jar. Now, keep the two of them. Keep dot .jad and keep dot .jad. Jar. Keep the jar and the jad file. Now, we get into the real business. You're also gonna you're gonna need a PC, obviously, your phone cable, and obviously the phone. I've gotten that over with anyway. So anyway, once you have those two files here, you're going to go into TK File Explorer, but not just yet. So I'm just gonna close that for a minute. You're gonna open up the Samsung PC Studio, which is what you're definitely gonna need. Trust me, you will need it. So, where is it there? Here we are. There we go. And there we go. Now, open it. It should open like this. Okay. Now that you're on, you're going to wait until it, you're going to plug in your USB cable. On your phone, make sure it goes into PC Studio. Because that's where you're going to need it in. Now watch my steps very carefully. I mean, very carefully. While you're on it, and it'll recognize your phone. Right click. Disconnect device. Now, open now, only now, open up TK File Explorer. Now you can minimize PC Studio, because it won't make a difference. Open up TK File Explorer, apparently it won't work with this, so I have to open it up through WinRAR. I'll get it up when ready. Okay, I have it open now. I'm gonna go open it up, and you obviously seen what it looks like. If not, you have it to start the video. But here it is now. See that? It should look like this. Now go to the settings tab and select COM port. Sometimes it's automatically selected, sometimes it's just blank.